guys so today I'm here with a new name video for you and today I'm going to be doing the C names for girls in my unusual names for every letter of the alphabet so all the names in this video are names that are not in the top 1,000 names in the United States for 2017 which is the last year that we have the data for and some of them were given to even less than five girls so these names are very rare but they are names that I think could fit in with current trends so without further ado let's jump into the rare C names for girls so the first name I have on this list is Kalantha. Kalantha is a Greek name that means beautiful flower. So it definitely has a gorgeous, girly meaning. I think Kalantha would be a great alternative to Cassandra or Samantha. And you could get the down to earth nickname Callie if you think that Kalantha might be a little bit too big. It definitely has some more usable nicknames. Kala is another flowery nickname option for Kalantha. And Kalantha was given to less than five girls in the US in 2017. What do you think of Kalantha? Do you think it's too big for a little girl or do you think it is kind of along the same lines of Cassandra and Samantha? The next name I have is Carlotta. Carlotta is an Italian variation of Charlotte and with Charlotte gaining popularity I think this would make such a great alternative. Carlotta was only given to 22 girls in the United States in 2017 compared to over 12,000 girls that were named Charlotte. You could use the cute nicknames Carla or Lottie and this could also be used to honor a Carla or a Charlotte. The next name I have is Clarity. Clarity is a great virtue name. I think it has a great sound and a wonderful meaning and it could honor a Claire, a Clara or even a Charity. I think this name still manages to sound new and fresh even though it's part of that Puritan virtue name trend from like the 16 and 1700s in early America. Um, it's still very rare and was given to only 58 girls in 2017. The next name I have is one of my personal favorite girls names of all time and that is Cressida. Cressida is a Greek name that means gold or golden. Cressida is a mythological figure in Greek mythology, a character in Shakespeare, and most recently was made famous again as a Hunger Games character and the name of one of Prince Harry's ex-girlfriends. Cressida, I think, could be a great Jessica alternative and maybe could even be used to honor a Jessica. Um, despite everything that this name has going for it, it's so rarely used and was given to only 10 girls in the entire United States in 2017. The next name is one that I've been loving. I absolutely adore it and I keep talking about it because I want people to use it and that is Casafia. Casafia is a place name that was likely close to the Caspian Sea and probably means silver. Um, it's an ancient place name and it's mentioned in the Bible. I love, love that this could be a alternative to Sophia, but you can also get the nickname Cass or Cassie. So if you want a rare biblical name, this would be a great choice because it was given to less than five girls in 2017. Another really, really cool C name that I've loved for a long time is 
Calypso. Calypso is the name of an island nymph in Greek mythology, but it's also the name of a genre of music that originated in Trinidad and Tobago. Calypso comes from Greek and means she who hides. I just feel like it has a very musical sound with that O ending. You could use the nicknames Kali or Kala, and this name was only given to 25 girls in 2017. The next name is one that I, I just think is so beautiful, and that is Corazon. It's a Greek name and it means chorus singer, so it would make a great choice for musical parents. Corazon has been used for nobility in the past, and it really does have a princessy sound. It could honor a Cori, a Cora, or even a Sandra, and it's rarely used. It was given to less than five girls in 2017. I just feel like this is a name that needs to get more attention. Then I have Caridwin. Caridwin is a Welsh name that means beautiful as a poem. What an amazing meaning. It's the name of the Celtic goddess of poetry. If you love Welsh names or you have Welsh ancestry, this would be a really, really cool name choice, especially if you're a writer or a poet or maybe your husband or partner is. This name was given to less than five girls in 2017. I don't know how many girls it was given to in Wales. I should have checked that. The next name I have is Cordelia. Cordelia is a name that has grown on me so much and now I absolutely love it. It fits in with other pretty Victorian girls' names that are much more popular like Amelia and Olivia and would make a stunning choice. Cordelia is a Shakespearean name and also a name from Celtic mythology. It is a Celtic name and means daughter of the sea. So it is kind of a mermaid name as well. In 2017, Cordelia was ranked 1,167, so a little bit more popular than some of the names on this list, but still not in the top 1,000. It was given to only 209 girls in the U.S. The next name I have is Crimson. Crimson is a super cool color name that has a great sound and could totally work as a baby name. Crimson is a bright red color, so I think it could be a cool scarlet alternative. And I think this could be a very cool middle name choice as well. Only 51 girls were given this name in 2017. Then I have Corvina. Corvina is a Latin name that means like a raven. This name has such an exotic sound and a very, very cool meaning. It would be a very exotic way to honor a Cora. And you could also honor a raven or a Vincent. Less than five girls were given this name in 2017. The next name I have is Clover. Clover is an adorable name that fits in with more hipster nature names like Ivy, Hazel, Poppy. This is a name that I could definitely see becoming more popular as nature names continue to be a huge trend. This would be a very cute way to honor Irish heritage because the shamrock, which can be a clover, is the symbol of Ireland. Clover is ranked at number 1299 and was given to 179 girls in the US in 2017. Then I have Cosette. Cosette was a name that was actually created by Victor Hugo for the character of Cosette in his novel Les Miserables. And in the book, it's actually a nickname that Cosette's mother calls her, and it means little one or little thing. Um, I think Cosette makes an adorable alternative to Charlotte, and it was only given to 121 girls in 2017 and is ranked at 1736. 
And finally, the last name I have on this list is Claremond. Claremond is an absolutely gorgeous French name and the meaning is light of the world. So <laughs> I don't think you can get a better meaning than that. <laughs> this would be a great alternative or a great way to honor Claire or Clara. Um, for parents wanting something that's different but still wearable, I think this is definitely one to consider. And Claremond was given to less than five girls in 2017, so it is definitely an unusual choice. So let me know which of these names was your favorite, and what are your favorite C names for girls. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions for D names that you would like me to feature, leave those in the comments as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.